Hey guys, Mike at Connecticut Auto Lock. 2017 Chevrolet Impala. This car, um, it's brand new, was purchased by the federal government, and it's going to a, a, a fleet customer. So we have our two existing keys, and they wanted four more keys programmed to this car, which I'm about to do. Um, I inadvertently ordered the PEPS keys, which are the um, <clears throat> GM's proximity keys. And I wasn't sure if they would work or not, but they do seem to have worked on the other cars I did. So apparently you can use the proximity function keys in a non-prox equipped car, but not the other way around. Um, another thing you'll notice on the new GMs, when you take like the old General Motors cars, you would turn the key on, wait for your lock light to go out. It's out, Master, you would switch it off. At noon Eastern time and then switch on your new key you'll notice that does not work any longer you now need two keys to cycle in in order to add a key on board uh, without use of outside equipment so we're gonna cycle on our first already programmed key take it out here's our second already programmed key Then I'm going to take that one out, and now we'll begin to add our new keys. And you'll see three keys programmed. And now, unlike the Fords, um, where the Fords, you'd have to start over and cycle in two new ones again, here you can continue to add keys um, until you get up to the maximum number you want. So once you cycle those first two in, I'm going to put four more in now for a total of six, and I believe the car will hold up to eight keys. So now we have six keys programmed to this vehicle. Um, I will test them all once before I leave here, but yes, our, uh, our functions do work. And the car does start. Um, and of course, I'll test them all before I leave, but I won't bore you with the rest of the video. Um, but that's what's new on the GMs for the 2017 model year. Thanks.